So thank you for uh, joining in our uh, yet another uh, PMI Talent tri Triangle webinar series. So the topic for today is uh, organizational transformation. So I will uh, give you a, a quick introduction about the speaker for the day and also about the webinar so to get it started. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. We are still able to see Sinos. Yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah. now, 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 now we can. Got it. All right, so this is about ProVentures. I, uh, I assume that most of you here are, are alumni and are uh, uh, from our known acquaintances. So, uh, uh, however, we would just give you a short brief of uh, uh, about ProVentures, what we are. So we are a 360 degree project management uh, 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 you know, into training and consulting services covering people, systems and uh, solutions. And we are also into PMO services, product development, enterprise solution and uh, uh, various corporate trainings. So we are uh, in our 17 years of journey with the PMI and have trained over 16,000 professionals uh, across many countries. So not only specifically in India covering program, uh, project program and portfolio domains. And in the consulting space, we have served more than 150 customers uh, spread across uh, various uh, domains and uh, deploying enterprise project management solution using Microsoft and Oracle Primavera solutions. So. Yeah. So these are our partners. So we partner with uh, uh, PMI and we are solution partner with Microsoft and we are also uh, partnered with the ProChain, TPG, Intaware and in the NGO space we are with the PM for NGO space at US. And uh, coming to our training services, we are into all the category of uh, training with uh, PMI, uh, right from PMP, PGMP, PFMP, and we are also uh, with uh, you know the disciplined agile and uh, agile certified uh, practitioners uh, training, and we also do the uh, PMI, SP, RMP, PBA, anything, anything under uh, uh, PMI that uh, we do the training and we also into our uh, technology space. We, we offer a project online training, a Microsoft project, Oracle Primavera P6, Power BI, everything up, uh, under project management. And uh, this is a, a PMI talent triangle series, which uh, PMI introduced in terms of, uh, you know, getting PDUs. Right, so one, uh, once you are uh, BMP certified that you can gain your PDUs through uh, this uh, webinar, especially this webinar will have uh, 1.5 PDUs for you. So we are uh, uh, in the business transformation uh, topic today. And at the end of the training, we will. Uh, we will uh, give you a small feedback and we expect you to fill up that feedback and upon that we will be uh, giving you a certificate which you can use it for uh, claiming the certificate or claiming the pdus so this is the webinar organizational transformation so the quick overview is uh, uh, this is the process of a significant and comprehensive change the organizational transformation within an organization in terms of structure culture and strategy and business so it is critical for businesses to keep pace with the rapidly uh, evolving business environment and we see aggressive changes uh, happening in technological business, social and marketplace environment. So it is how we should cope up with all these uh, and according to um, you can see 70 percentage of large scale transformation fail and even the successful ones realize marginal envision benefits. So how are we going to encounter all this? So that is what we will be seeing in this webinar. And what will be your key takeaways? You will see what are the different types of transformations and your capability gaps and readiness assessment, implementing transformation initiatives and role of project management in transforming enterprises. So the speaker for today, we have uh, Sinivasan sir with us. So he's PMP, PGMP and PFMP. He is the uh, uh, front runner for uh, uh, provincial education and consulting services for the last uh, 17 years now and he has trained uh, uh, i would say about 15000 people uh, you know uh, in in various domains and various spaces 
and uh, he's here to give you uh, this webinar and I am sure this is going to be a kind of much insightful uh, one and uh, which will definitely add value in terms of your organization as well as uh, you know in, in your workspace, right? So there are a few directions. This webinar is scheduled for 1.5 hours, so it will go uh, 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 up to 90 minutes and uh, at the end of the training, you will also be given a chance for a specific Q&A and in between, if you want to ask any questions, you can give it in the chat. We can read it out to the presenter or, or you can unmute and speak. So at the end of the webinar, we need we will be giving you the uh, feedback link as we as I mentioned earlier and that is mandatory for us to release your PDU certificate. So please ensure uh, you submit your feedback at the end of the training, right? So with this, I will uh, uh, hand over the session to Sinivasan sir and I once again thank you everyone for taking your time out for joining this session. Over to you Sinivasan sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, so. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, go for a, a quick uh, a warm up. Uh, uh, all those who could join uh, this. Uh, uh, quiz or survey, you can call it. I will do uh, in about five minutes within that so that we spend more time. Those who are able to log on with a second device or so, please uh, log on to kahoot.it, okay, not kahoot.com, kahoot.it in your mobile browser. And then it will ask for a game pin. Uh, please enter 161. 5797. Okay, it is there in the screen. Uh, you can also, I guess you can scan it directly and then try doing it. Very good. Manoj has joined first. Uh, I'm not going to wait for everyone to join. Uh, first come first. Uh, we'll just wait for about 60 seconds and then we'll get it started. So this is not a, any evaluation, uh, but still it will test some of your foundational understanding about uh, uh, transformation and specifically organizational transformation. Okay, three, six, seven. I'll wait for three more to join. And then we will uh, get it started. Others can observe. Three, six, eight, two more. Uh, all right. I'm going to get a uh, start. And those who missed, don't worry. Uh, at the end, I have one more uh, quiz, which is to check how much you observed, how much you uh, absorbed from this session. Uh, so that may be a little more complex, so you can participate in that. I'll get it started now. Just five questions each will be only 30 seconds. OK, you should be able to do it. And let's say uh, it is not really a quiz, but uh, more of a poll. Transformation is authored and driven by employees. Agree or disagree? This is just to get some collective opinion about transformation. OK, wonderful, wonderful. All right, uh, though there is a majority, but uh, OK, we will probably discuss it uh, towards the end, not immediately. We'll move on next. OK, Manoj. And few more, all right. Second, transformation teams should not be hierarchical or work in silos, but be agile and flat. Agree, disagree.
Five more seconds. Good, people are answering fast. That is good. Very good, very good. Okay, so now it is improving. Let's go to the next. Okay. Transformation initiatives takes the advantage of technologies and the formal tested processes. Agree, disagree. Most of the time. Abba. Instant answers. Wow, that's good. <laughs> okay. That's good. I'll be coming up in four or five. Strong leadership is critical to success for every transformation. Okay, that's good. All right. The last one. Employee will not undergo any change during the transformation journey. Excellent, excellent. So the truth is uh, employees will be transformed. OK, it is not just the organization as an entity getting transformed. Employees also will undergo transformation. Then only organizational transformation will happen. OK, nine out of ten agreed. OK, I think uh, uh, most of you are, I would say, OK, all of you can be transformation leaders and active uh, ambassadors for transformation because uh, uh, you you understand the essence of transformation so this is just to do that okay so with this let's get into uh, the topic okay uh, see i'm not really a great uh, expert in organizational transformation but i had an opportunity okay to participate in some of the uh, transformation journeys as part of my two previous jobs okay so when an organization uh, is going close to bankruptcy transformation opportunities are much more than when an organization is growing so i had that opportunity not just part of the fall but also restoring the organization uh, back to uh, back on track okay that is where the, the lessons are very enriching and also rewarding now what i'm presenting here uh, is from uh, pmi's uh, micro credential series called uh, ots organizational transformation series it is a three part series uh, and those who are interested after this you can uh, go and look at it uh, I've taken one, the core one, the middle one. From there, I'll be sharing. Along with that, uh, I will try to bring in my journey uh, over the last, uh, I would say, probably 30 plus years in terms of participating in some of the journeys. Also done a bit of uh, homework uh, to create a small template, okay, for you to do some exercise uh, after going back. Uh, the template is uploaded in uh, uh, Common Drive, Google Drive, and the link is given in the chat box. Uh, you can go to that uh, chat window, uh, click the link, download the Excel file, a very small Excel file, uh, which you can just do it in an hour's time for your company. So that may be of useful to you. And uh, so for more information, you can reach out to uh, brightline.org, which is uh, one of the PMI's initiative. OK, PMI has uh, for this specific vertical, uh, they have basically uh, created a vertical, I guess, and wherein they are driving this. They put a lot of uh, videos and other information. And the second link, what you see is about those uh, three part series. OK, which uh, you can also look at it. The agenda is a bit long um, for today, but uh, each of them contains one, two slides. So I believe uh, we should be able to cover them. And uh, then uh, what I would like 
you all to do is as we pass through or at the end, share any uh, journey which uh, you are part of it, whether you steered a transformation journey or you participated as an active ambassador. Uh, you can take uh, not more than 30 to 40 seconds. Please, uh, we'll give opportunity to more people. You can pick up one piece, one thread, and then share it uh, uh, contextually. Uh, that will basically be more useful to everyone who have joined. So uh, the first one is done. Uh, are you ready for organizational transformation? And I think uh, most of you are ready. Uh, so we'll start with uh, the definition and then we'll try to understand uh, how to assess the context, whether an organization is needing a transformation, what kind of transformation they should go for, uh, okay, analyzing the context, and what are the different domains of transformation, types of transformation, and uh, how do we check whether your organization is ready for transformation, what are the gaps, and how do you go and take fill them and then uh, embark into a uh, implementation? Uh, within that, uh, they have identified some five touchstones. Okay, I'll just have a look at it. Uh, all these things, so probably we may just be able to touch the iceberg, not really going in deep uh, because uh, as a module, it was around 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours module. Okay, I'm capturing, I'm, I'm summarizing in about 50 minutes. So you will not be able to get full lessons, but you can take more, uh, taking up a full course or, okay, uh, do whatever uh, the way you want to expand. And if time permits, we'll do one more quick knowledge check at the end. All right. So when we talk about transformation, Okay, one uh, an insect should come to everybody's mind. Okay, can anyone let me try? Okay, think about uh, one. Uh, I don't know how to call it an insect or fly. Uh, what comes to your mind? Transformation, which is very commonly quoted. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Current future state. Uh, current, current state to future state. And that's okay. I'm so talking about a metaphor. One fly, okay, okay. a fl flying object. Met metamorphosis? Metamorphosis? Yeah, metamorphosis is a good word, but butterfly. I'm asking you butterfly. to identify that fly. Butterfly. 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 Excellent, excellent. Butterfly. Okay, butterfly is a classical okay, example of uh, talks about it transformation. Okay, how from a uh, a larva stage, it breaks open and then start flying, soaring. Okay, so that's a, a wonderful example. Uh, I'm going to show you three perspectives about transformation. You can relate it. One is Boston Consulting Group. It says like this, it is a comprehensive change in terms of strategy, operating model, organization, people, and the processes. Okay, to achieve a dramatic improvement or breakthrough improvement in performance. And at the same time, it alters the company's uh, trajectory about the future. Okay, I'm sure, okay, the definition gives us uh, a thrilling. Okay, then PMI puts it like this. It refers to an organization achieving sustainable quantum leap improvement. Okay, in performing performance while transforming the mindset of employees. They bring the people here uh, in terms of mindset and the culture. Okay, that is PMI. And the third, it is a significant, lasting, non-reversible change. Okay, to company's value creation logic. Okay, it is one, another author, he puts it like that. I give a pass. Uh, do you agree or uh, anyone have uh, any different perspective? Any response, uh, please limit it to 30 seconds. So that means you all agree. Okay, you can also show some reactions uh, that will motivate others. I'll keep going. Keep this in the back of your mind. 
any transformation should go like that. Okay, I'm moving to the next item in the agenda. Okay, so if you look at it, some people, they just jump into a transformation based on some trigger. Okay, and uh, they go into a digitization journey. Or some people say that all our processes are obsolete, paper-based, we need to go and automate it. Or they say that hey, if you are alone, we will not be able to grow the way uh, uh, the people expect, but we need to get into acquisitions, partnerships. Now, these are some of their skewed view of transformation. Of course, there are all these are part of transformation, but they are not really a truly comprehensive transformation. So as a first step, we need to understand the context. Otherwise, having jumped in, you will not be able to proceed further. Okay, or you would have got into a wrong mode of transformation. So how do we analyze the context? Okay, a very simple check. Okay, look from the degree of complexity, your industry or your domain or your geography, whatever it is, okay, working and the rate of change, okay, your uh, area is going through. Okay, so these two factors are to be looked into it before you step into any kind of uh, transformation. Okay, how do they relate? Okay, let's look at it. Uh, it's just presented in the form of uh, uh, an XY graph. So put the complexity on the Y axis and the change on the X axis. And uh, remember, okay, the it is not linear. In most of the time, it is exponential. So it goes from uh, simple and constant, that may be meaning unchanging or very slow and gradual change, okay, organic. And it goes on complex and then velocity, complicated, accelerated mode, chaos and jerk. Now we need to look at it, uh, am I into which zone? Okay, now for each of them, there is a definition. Uh, I'm not bringing into that definition, then it will take a lot of time, but uh, you all know, okay, as an English meaning, we'll be able to differentiate. Okay, just as an example, between complex and complicated. Complex means I know the destination and there are many paths to go reach the destination. But when it comes to complicated, even the destination is more multiple, and the paths are multiple, many to many. So that becomes complicated. Chaos, there is no path at all. You need to develop the path. Okay, you need to decide the destination. Nothing is uh, there. Okay, so this will help where are you as an industry. Okay, sometimes uh, we would have started well. Few years later, you may find uh, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of some jerk. If I don't act within the next 90 days, I need to close down the company. OK, so that is jerk. OK, so we need to assess where we are in the form of uh, that uncertainty or slippery path that we are in. And then we need to take up the transformation initiative. The next dimension, OK, having done that, we need to now pick up uh, what are the different domains of transformation and uh, what are the types of transformation. Okay, that was in the agenda. So uh, having uh, plotted in terms of which segment of uncertainty you are in, the next thing is where do you want to go? How do you want to bring back okay, the situation? What is the workable transformation strategy for us? So there, I'm bringing the same X and Y. It is not I, the bright line initiative by PMI. That's the framework I'm presenting. Uh, here now, the X axis becomes uh, what we do. Okay, the value that we are offering to the customer, what we do. Existing and the to be, the new one. And the second side, X axis, how we do. 
okay it is a good way of questioning what are the means of delivery means of value delivery you put it and then you pick up uh, okay one among these three domains of transformation productive transformation core and uh, strategic transformation now industry and the companies uh, name them differently and uh, uh, i'm not bringing them uh, because even just now we are consulting a company so they use uh, uh, three different words for to represent the same so productive core and the strategic sometimes uh, if their company is big so you may have to do something in each of these domains but the thought process uh, the means uh, how we embark okay we should be able to differentiate so that uh, it brings the uh, the fruit okay in due time transformation domains uh, please register these uh, words so that uh, towards the end you can participate well in the quiz and also you can have a good take away as you go forth what is productive making today's business better cheaper faster okay what i'm doing is something uh, adds value but over a period of time i have not updated myself so i have become slow complacent okay and continue to be very costly and we are very slow uh, okay satisfaction levels are not there so you can identify government psus private sector your own company who knows your own individual self okay look at it okay so if you are embarking on a productive transformation i need to first look at it okay and then i will look at more now the core transformation it goes further providing the value in different ways and to different customers okay so maybe different values to different customers there are segmentation you can look at it from the y axis and the x axis different ways to different customers how we do that okay that is core okay so that uh, you start drawing more customer base more geography more segments more products etc okay so that is the next and the third level if you go further changing the very essence of the value creation process and the value creation logic of your company okay i'm i'm just going back to the basics and shift the data okay in alignment with the various other factors we'll come to that later so that is strategic transformation okay because if you want certain breakthrough results okay so then the the conventional what you thought 20 years back may not work okay so how do we change the very essence of value creation logic so these are the three domains so we looked at how do we analyze uncertainty and then we are looking at uh, what are the various domains now we will move on to different uh, methods or types now the second and third slide just now the previous and next you will see that uh, they relate very closely uh, the first one is maintain okay maintain the core business value what you are doing but do it faster do it efficiently do it at a more economical uh, way maybe in the form of uh, scale or whatever it is okay that is the first one okay exploit the core that is the part now even to do that okay you may have to do the transformation okay to run the business okay otherwise it will slip you may not maintain the same pace at which that you are in now in order to uh, expand it further in terms of what we do and how we do okay there are two ways here extend increase the core business value by extending into okay the new to the company new products new geographical locations okay the new target customers etc okay but again it will revolve around your core okay you are not shifting the core it will be around the core but you are extending the core or improve okay how we do it 
OK, so quite often okay, the digital mode OK is uh, maybe the first step. OK, so that uh, it is faster, it is cheaper and it satisfies convenient to the people. Improve the core business value perception by re-engineering the existing processes. And when we move to the chaos on the vertical, uh, jerk on the horizontal, then we need a reimagining the work what we are doing. OK, the reinvent the business by developing new models. I think somebody makes uh, a background noise. Uh, Prishant, you can just move over it is. Yeah, thank you. Reinvent, reinvent the business by developing new models of value differentiation and delivery. You see that that is characterized by something called explore the edge. OK, explore the edge, uncover and maximize uh, the growth. OK, the new growth opportunities by creating new business models. OK, uh, I'll just pass here. I don't want to just uh, uh, run. Uh, I heard a couple of questions uh, on the chat, Ratna. Uh, can you read? Yes, sir. So, how does the organization, organizational transformation strategies differ between startups and established companies? Okay, okay. Uh, good question. I think uh, startups uh, has the advantage <clears throat> of uh, okay uh, even to look at uh, the reimagine uh, without uh, getting into chaos and jerk because they create jerk in the market okay they try to paralyze uh, the existing systems okay to find certain very new ground rules okay which will shake the uh, the current market system okay so that would be the cutting edge for uh, the startups. But if you look at uh, an existing company, if they don't do it, they perish. OK, it may be because of uh, overconfidence. It may be because of uh, OK, complacency or uh, very uh, change in the internal and external, especially external environment. OK, maybe towards the end, if I get a time, I'll try to narrate a couple of stories. OK, where uh, when I started with uh, one of the Greenfield project, uh, it was a kind of uh, uh, as it born, OK, it became a, a very sick baby. OK, if you want to make that baby survive, OK, you need to transform. OK, so it is again a jerk, but it has to be done. Otherwise, the company will die. So for an existing company, it is because of uh, accumulated uh, legacy, which you need to deal with it. For a new startup, it is an opportunity. OK, I think that's my uh, uh, response. Uh, but both of them needs transformation. And there is, I'll also bring certain quote. OK, transformation, every company needs all the time. OK, quite often we don't realize that. OK. Any other observation? Now, as you as I walk through, I want each of you to identify yourself. OK, your company, your own individual career needs what? Where are you? OK, in terms of uncertainty, what can you do? OK, so then only you will appreciate. Otherwise, uh, it will become a, a dry theory. Let me keep going. So what we have done is the uncertainty assessment so that uh, we are very clear where we want to play our coin, OK, where we want to go forward. So the degree of complexity and the rate of change determine the level of uncertainty you are experiencing and uh, how to go forward. Knowing your level of uncertainty will determine the domain. OK, as we see here, uh, the uh, the maintain or other productive transformation, core transformation and strategic transformation, which one you want to pick up. Or in each of them, what do you want to do? The third, what type of transformation? Based on that, you set the goal. 
the strategic goals and objectives whether to improve or to extend or to reimagine or to maintain probably organization may have to pick up some thread in each of the four parts four types the next step is uh, assessing the organization's uh, capability and readiness okay i'm not talking anything new these are standard frameworks and features okay we need to assess where uh, can i do that what kind of capability i have what i don't have and how do i bridge okay without assessing if you jump into it a transformation will go for 2 3 years it will fail and then you will close it down okay so it will become a, a negative spiral so define the what is business capability we need to understand we will do that and then you determine okay what kind of uh, capability you have you don't have and then the third step is how do we go forward to bridge the gap okay so that is to be done so okay. all right so this bright line framework put this uh, in this mode uh, in a, a continuum i'll show the continuum little later uh they classified it under four buckets okay people capability and uh, structural capability technological capability and uh, asset capability now people capability so you see that uh, in terms of uh, uh leadership okay it's very very important in fact in the quiz uh, somebody said uh, we saw both people are important from the bottom level participating leadership is also important okay it cannot be only one way so leadership number 1 number 2 subject expertise in your domain and the domain that is required to be bridged and the organization culture okay all these three elements uh, you need to assess and see okay is it ready readiness to uh, check second structure when we talk about structure uh, one is uh, the process framework in terms of system processes how disciplined how chaotic it is okay uh, how old it is okay how it is being updated recalibrated etc and then no transformation will succeed with one individual or within four walls okay you need partnerships and collaborations okay so what is your stand policy etc and then the other ecosystem ecosystem in terms of uh, your customer base uh, competitors uh, marketplace conditions etc how it is and the third very very important again okay technological capabilities in terms of data systems and the platforms okay so we need to assess it carefully and uh, what is available what is something okay required etc and the lastly okay in terms of physical financial and intellectual assets okay so i mean as you see here in this uh, 12 points okay we can see some various major gap some areas minor gap some strengths something can be augmented something may be very difficult so that will basically decide which quadrant uh, that we need to do it at first at least to have some low hanging fruits gain the momentum and then move forward uh, as i told you before uh, i just uh, created a small excel template which you can download and try to assess it yourself okay uh, for a specific uh, organization or others uh, which from this slide i derived out of it uh, which you can make use of it and how do we fill the gap the next step and this is something we all know it okay you can build the capability within the organization you can acquire it uh, as a temporary measure or with a long term or a hybrid approach and uh, partner with uh, some sms uh, on need basis or some of the operations you can outsource it so that uh, you focus on your core 
what differentiates from others. OK, so this is something you need to evolve based on the previous uh, uh, readiness check and the gap assessment. Or how do we do that? So if you look, look through this uh, capability continuum, uh, we need to understand uh, it involves both art and science, both hard and uh, soft, both human and physical. OK, so it is very easy. Even if uh, uh, there is a big money involved to mobilize, but it is very, very difficult to transform people, culture. OK, so we should never undermine uh, okay, the complexities and the challenges involved in uh, the filling the gap in terms of people, structure. OK, if you look at it, right side is fairly easy. OK, technology available today at a very cost effective. Okay, assets probably people are there to fund if you have a proper business case. Okay, but transforming people, transforming structures and other things needs a lot of mindset okay, changes. So again, you can uh, uh, create a small heat map. Okay, the same thing what I said. Okay, I'm creating it here in each area. You can identify which area is a dire need, which are very heavily lacking. OK, identify it in the form of a heat map, uh, put it as red. And which one can be done with some little effort or more effort? Which of them we are pretty strong? OK, we'll, we need to leverage it. OK, put it in the form of uh, green, amber, red. And that will help us to uh, channelize, prioritize, uh, our effort, investments and initiatives. Now I put it in the agenda as the last part. What is the role of project management in any transformation? Now I don't want to really expand it. OK, you all know that uh, if one of the are the five characteristics of project. OK, temporary, unique and uh, every project involves uh, change. OK, as is to, to be and uh, every project involves uh, needs a certain trigger. OK, they, we all learned it in our uh, OK, uh, PM Bok as uh, long as like 20 years back, 10 years back, five years back or very recently. OK, so now we have very strong project program portfolio capability within the organization, I would say is a essential okay without which uh, our organization very difficult for them to get success in any transformation i'm telling it out of my 25 years of experience okay if your operation is in a pure operational bau mode it is high time you tell them to okay create a project office pmo or a transformation cell whatever you name it OK, otherwise uh, you have to act in the form of a check in the midst of chaos. OK, so it's very, very important. Uh, a solid project program portfolio capability, not just with a handful of individual across the organization, the culture to be created. It takes time. OK, it takes uh, uh, one to three years Okay, in any organization. So what is the next step? OK, any of you have any questions? So, OK, keep shooting it. If you want to share something, you can share. Uh, I can give a pass. Uh, sir, you said transforming people. So. So that is in terms of their. Are we talking about in terms of their? Uh, learning attitude or you know the personal behavior things like that or how do you really you know define that like you you generally said that you know transforming people is a little challenge so so what all what are other things which we really have to take care of when you transform try to transform people yeah very yeah. good excellent question uh, so when we talk about people uh, we need to look at uh, 360 degrees quite often uh, very few will actually take uh, change as an exciting and 
challenging one. Okay, maybe one out of ten or eight, two out of ten. Okay, other eight out of ten, they they like to be in a comfort zone. Okay, seldom they want they want to come out. Okay, exactly. so exactly, sir. This is this yeah. is what I wanted to really tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In those situations, yeah, very, very, very true, sir. Very true. Okay, so this is I say the most important. Okay, that again the other things will follow. Okay, in terms of learning new technologies. Okay, adapting, working with the team, the teaming culture. Okay, so moving from uh, uh, help yourself to help others attitude. Okay, so there are a gamut of things required in terms of people transformation. Okay. And compared to that, learning a new tool or technology is very simple actually. But uh, again, it should start from the leadership. Okay, the leader if is not open for building people, then it's very hard. So at all levels, the uh, people transformation is very important. So, hello, this is JP. I have a question. Yeah. So which of these domains is more complex uh, in your perspective? Like are the people, structure, or where it should start? Obviously, I think organization, uh, it should be a waterfall model, uh, but uh, sometimes it will not happen in that way. So, where should uh, this organizational transformation should be reshaped? Where and which is the. Uh, you are telling? Where it should be. Yeah, where it should be. Yeah. Ah. And, 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 and which, is the, yeah, which is the key challenge here out of these domains? Okay, okay, okay. I think there are two questions here. Uh, first of all, what kind of. Uh, uh, methodology because you used a word called waterfall. Okay. Uh, so, where it should start, how it should proceed is one part. Okay. Among these uh, capability uh, part of it, which one is more tougher? Okay. Uh, so, to answer to the first question, okay, the transformation is basically perpetual. Okay. When I say perpetual, it never ends within an enterprise. Okay. Now, where do you start? Generally, we start with uh, a low hanging fruit. Okay. When we say low hanging fruit, it starts with uh, strengthening the foundation. Okay. So that is uh, the first part. Okay. And then move towards improve, extend, and then move towards. Uh, okay. So it is not a linear. Okay, you can make uh, a beginning in all the four types, but you should see results very soon in the low hanging fruit. That should motivate the people into the next core and the next to uh, strategic. If you directly jump into strategic, then the results will come late by then people will lose the motivation. Okay, that is first answer to the first question. The second question, as you see here, the left to right in terms of complexity. OK, the comp highest complexity is on the left side. As we move towards the right, the complexity comes down. OK, but still everything is important. OK, when you talk about choice of technology today, there are so much available before us. Uh, OK, we need to make a prudent and wise choice. OK, so otherwise you have to reverse it. OK, so. That is very important. And once again, the third part, okay, one of the, the five uh, touchstone are in the trajectory. They say that transformation journey should be agile. Okay, it is, should never be a waterfall. Okay, so how do we bring a hybrid approach? Uh, okay, all those things we need to talk about it. We'll do that in the next few slides. Okay, have I answered you? Okay. Um, sir, we have few questions in the chat. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, the question is: Is the readiness assessment as an ongoing process? Else, what is the right time for this assessment? Okay, good. And uh, how uh, do we address the resistance to change? Okay. <laughs> uh, easy question, tough answer. to answer. OK, the, since I said that the transformation is perpetual, OK, the readiness assessment should be ongoing. 
Okay. Uh, because uh, it is something like, uh, I'm sure many of you might be knowing theory of constraints. Okay, so when theory of constraints speaks like this, okay, if you look at a big chain, not every link failing at once. Okay, so as you increase the load on a chain, okay, the one link will fail at a time. Okay, not many links. So we need to look at uh, what is that link that fails? How do I strengthen it? The moment you strengthen that link, okay, you will see that uh, we tend to get into inertia. We shouldn't. Okay, we have to wait for what is the next link that is going to fail because we are taking more load. We are growing more. So obviously there should be another link which is weak. Okay, so but uh, the initial capability gap assessment okay, should be probably a one time ex heavy exercise because multiple areas need to be identified, fixed, prioritized. So it may be little uh, cumbersome or complex, but once you establish it, down the line, every three months, every six months, uh, the pattern can be established. That should become relatively easy. OK, now how do we uh, bring transformation among people? I would say it is an art. OK, so you need uh, the right leadership, uh, right uh, uh, kind of uh, employee engagement. Uh, OK, maybe I can give you one answer, which is also there in the next slide. Uh, volunteerism. OK, is an important critical success factor in terms of people transformation. OK, you should not uh, expect uh, the leader to change the entire organization or every individual will respond to changes. No. OK, so we need uh, volunteers. OK, now external consultant cannot change people. HODs cannot change people. CEO cannot change people. An individual at the bottom level cannot change people. OK, it is a it is a uh, it's uh, OK. We need uh, passionate volunteers. OK, and that should be maintained, rewarded in order to succeed in transformation. OK, we'll take up the next set of questions uh, after this, because yeah. this is the last module, uh, which is also very powerful. OK, implementing. So we look at uh, uncertainty assessment. Uh, where do we where we are? And then we looked at the uh, different uh, domains. Then we looked at uh, different types. And then we looked at uh, uh, in terms of uh, capability, uh, readiness, assessment, gaps. And then we also looked at uh, how do we fill. OK, there are four or five way of filling. Now these are all being done. Now how do we ignite? OK, how do we uh, start? OK, now as you see here, uh, the Brightline framework uh, suggests a trajectory with uh, five touchstones. OK, they call it as the five touchstones. It is not like uh, CMM where OK, you start with one, then two, then three, then four, then five. OK, they say every organization, every transformation has its own. OK, it is very unique and uh, they say it is very, very difficult uh, for anyone to suggest how to go about. OK, you will see this uh, in the uh, that uh, disclaimer. I will read it for you. Please be advised that the following diagram should only act as a guide. OK, tool to guide through the transformation. The actual tasks, initiatives and strategies that are employed in a transformation journey are complex and ever evolving and cannot be fully captured in a linear progress model or process model. OK, they said uh, if you can confidently answer yes to the touchstones checklist. OK, I have also provided the touchstone checklist as part of this slide deck, uh, which you can look at it later. Uh, we will not go through that checklist, but it is given to you. You are on the right trajectory of progressing towards a fully realized transformation. You need to look through the checklist, which of them are ready, not ready, how we are going to fill it. And then you need to design your journey. 
okay and it is evolving it is a road map okay so now if you look through this uh, trajectory the y axis talks about uh, five elements okay you should have a uh, a north star vision that means uh, something simple everyone can understand well communicated and people are inspired with that okay and inside out employee transformation we answered in the first quiz okay employees are to be transformed okay how do we handle it the third customer insights and the mega trends in the external environment okay if you don't sense that and then you get into a transformation it may fail okay so the ecosystem that we talked about before and then what is the transformation os operating system okay we talked about the waterfall agile hybrid okay so what kind of uh, operating system governance uh, that we want to establish to handle it last but not least volunteer champions okay very powerful you can see in ngos our family functions uh, even in bmi chapter if the volunteers are strong passionate okay the initiative and the organization will grow okay through that in the form of inspiring mobilizing and shifting okay so this is the x axis within that they have defined this five step process so the first step is creating a winning vision and strategy that will inspire the people and the company second step engage and empower your people okay it is not dictate it is not bringing policy it is not bringing structure escalations okay it is engage and empower third leverage the customer and the competitive insight it's very important uh, to take the okay the customer along with us and the market along with us the ecosystem around us along with the transformation but it's not a, a running alone okay that is very difficult and then activate an agile transformation os and last but not least okay it is not just a one time activity make sure you are only making a beginning it is uh, you should uh, stabilize it towards the uh, perpetual transformation okay so these are the tech stones and the same thing is briefly explained i think uh, it's easy now to connect it touch stone one creating a winning mission touch stone two engage and empower so people must be motivated and empowered to engage the transformation okay now uh, i'm sure i think now uh, many of you you can relate it uh, what you have gone through in your career uh, you will see the the sweet spot around this okay when people are motivated and empowered they see success okay when people are reluctantly participating in it it will fail 90% it will fail touched on three leveraging customer and competitive successful organizations rapidly sense and respond to changes okay in order to do that the os should be good okay the operations operating system and the fourth one organizations needs a transformation os that uses agile governance approach so when we talk about agile today in many companies uh, it is in a very very nascent and i would say a small group level okay so uh, still i would say there is no proven methodology you have to define your own methodology okay agile in every spectrum of organizational activity okay in terms of mindset in terms of uh, strategy portfolio program project team okay operations uh, everywhere okay the, there should be agility within the organization last but not least strategic development and delivery requires ongoing transformation so that means okay there should be an office okay i remember about uh, 20 plus years back okay the tom peters quote okay he said that every organization should have a cpo okay cpo stands for chief process officer okay who define 
and uh, bring people into the framework uh, and uh, equip them and all. Exactly opposite to his chamber, there should be another officer called a CPDO. Okay, CPDO stands for Chief Process Demolition Officer. Okay, constantly they should question the validity of a process or system and uh, bring uh, change or abolish when it is well knit into the system, etc. And I mean, what I'm talking about is to, told in 1974. Okay, you know, it's about 40 years back he told these things, 40, 50 years back. Okay, so that is the secret. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm drawing uh, close to it. Uh, uh, we can open for a few questions. Before that, uh, what kind of threats? Okay, I just cover it in two slides and then uh, we can move on. Uh, Peter Trucker, who is considered to be another great uh, guru uh, in uh, leadership and uh, management side. He says, uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. I don't know how many of you can decipher it. Uh, even I am not able to fully understand. But what I know is, uh, okay, if there is no cultural change, okay, no strategy will work. The culture will simply chew it and eat it and uh, it won't be there. Okay. And the other thing, other quotes uh, comes from the tyranny of tangible. Okay, any organization which overemphasize tangible aspects of transformation, ignoring the people, culture, very, very difficult. Even if they see results, it will not be a sustainable result. Okay, very soon they will slide back. Okay, so when it comes to successful transformation, soft stuff is truly hard stuff. I think you can recollect the a continuum of capability. Left side was people, right side was asset. Okay, in between you have structure and uh, uh, the technology. Okay, so soft stuff is truly hard stuff. Okay, so I have given you the uh, link which you can go and learn more about it. And uh, again, few more in terms of uh, the perils and uh, the cautions. Okay, the transformation is pervasive. So that means it is not just an one-time activity. Okay, so it should keep going. So the survey and uh, the experts say this, KPMG says, 95% of transformations are there in some phase, okay, in every organization. 95% of the organizations are doing it. What they do, how they do, Okay, is the question. Okay, I have at least in, in my own experience. Okay, I have seen both well succeeded transformation, failed transformation. Transformation risk is very significant. Okay, there is another survey says uh, by Wall Street Journal. One of the major risk, okay, organization faces transformation risk. It is a major concern. Transformation failure rates are high. 70% of large scale transformation fail. We looked at it. This is from HPR. Failed transformation efforts are costly. Okay. Then you can relate. Forbes reports that 900 billion US dollars is being wasted in digital transformation effort. Okay, in the year 2018. Now, I don't know, 2023, it could be uh, more than a trillion. Okay. You can look at it. Most of the, uh, the, the digital transformation in government, success rate is only less than 20%. Okay, 80% of them fails. And uh, when it comes to a transformation, one of the cause is employees are disengaged. That results in failure, a stage, etc. So Gallup study says 85% of the employees globally are not engaged in their work. I'm sure you would have got many quotes, okay, in terms of employees being engaged in it. So that's the essence. And then uh, 
I have this checklist for each touchstone, uh, which you can look at it later on the five of them. And uh, this is the uh, bright lines. Uh, uh, the cover slide, basically five building blocks of any transformation. In fact, in the current uh, PMP examination under business environment domain, they have already included in the third edition of the course there. OK, the bright lines uh, transformation as part of. Uh, uh, organizational transformation, which is to be looked at as part of business environment. OK, I stop here. We have good time of around 15 minutes. Uh, within that, uh, we can share our experiences. That's why I wanted to give quality time at the end. And we have a quiz and uh, any questions to me or to others also can pitch in. Uh, there are a lot of seniors who have logged into the call today, so you can also share your experiences. Yeah, uh, that's not the pending questions you can read out now. We'll give them the yes, sir. Priority. Yeah. So the question is, uh, what if the technology or assets doesn't support for the transformation? And uh, one more question uh, in continuation with this is, what if the leadership is interested in transformation, but the employees do not ready or are, are, are not ready for the transformation? OK, well, the second question is easy to answer. Uh, every leader is one of their uh, uh, sweet spot or you can say pet is transformation. OK, whenever there is a leadership change, whenever there is a takeover, uh, those kind of things So the first thing they do is transformation. OK, but uh, if the employees are not engaged, I think second year uh, the leader will. Uh, there is a quote, no. Uh, uh, whenever a leader assumes a charge, he gets uh, uh, three received envelopes from the previous leader. OK, so <laughs> Uh, in that is uh, all three are around the transformation. Uh, so the second, uh, uh, I mean, I don't want to get into all that stories. The third letter is uh, it is time for you to prepare, update your resume. OK, so but if employees are not engaged, uh, that's how the transformation will end. OK, they will quickly jump into change, but if they don't engage people, the change will fail. The first one, uh, in at least in today's context, uh, uh, technology cannot be separated from any transformation. OK, uh, but uh, people prevails. OK, without people, transformation cannot happen, but technology is a, a necessary ingredient. It cannot replace people. So uh, the choice should be so that is why here I guess they use the word platform. OK, not specific application or something like that. OK, so uh, the when it comes to tooling, I guess uh, they should look towards the future and then add up. OK, so that means uh, they, go, they should go with the open ended for any change, adoption, etc. And when they choose the platform, they need to see will it stand for at least the next five years, 10 years, something like that. Yeah. OK, thank you, sir. So we have one more question. What role does the communication play in ensuring? In ensuring success of the transformation? No, oh, good questions. OK, communication plays uh, a very, very vital role. And you all know today, uh, OK, the communication is faster, swifter, and uh, people read WhatsApp messages in less than few seconds uh, and uh, I can share one example. Uh, in my previous organization, when we were implementing as part of transformation, uh, uh, a benchmark uh, CMM, uh, uh, I, uh, every month uh, basically we release one uh, uh, poster. OK, it will be pasted in all prominent locations. Very creative. It will speak about uh, uh, the past, present and the future. 
and the people started actively looking to it uh, what is going to come next month next week and there was a common theme around uh, an aircraft okay so every month uh, around the aircraft uh, some message will be there and it will be well uh, liked by everyone uh, like that to different different forms of communication okay the communication to uh, steering group communication to peer communication to the team okay it's very essential Link. Is there? Yeah. It's already there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Any more questions? Uh, sir, uh, um, we have a request for the template which you mentioned. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, maybe uh, uh, you all can do it. Uh, if necessary, I can also do it along with you. Uh, go to chat box. And then uh, I think you can click it. Maybe yeah, since uh, we have few time, there's nothing great in the template. Uh, you have to reach out. Maybe Prashant, you can share it again so that it will appear. And uh, I'm just opening right. the link. Uh, so when you All click right. the link, it comes to yeah. this. So in the chat, uh, it is there few messages before in the beginning uh, Prashant has shared. Yeah, if you are not able to do it, maybe you can uh, copy paste into something else and then you can do it later. And then I'll, I click this uh, place and see where I can download. Yeah, these three dots. I yeah. just go and download Ravish, sir, it. I'm just sending you the link again so you can try downloading it. So if it's not working, please let me know. Yeah, I download it. And then maybe I'll give a walkthrough. It is nothing great. OK, so you can improve it. I'm just giving it as an Excel. I open the file. A simple Excel sheet. So I just opened the file. It. So. Uh, so if you look at it, uh, I mean, this is just a small spark, OK? It doesn't give you big solutions. Uh, just so that you can go and uh, revisit it. That is why I took some effort to build it. Uh, so in the first worksheet, uh, I put it in the form of uh, uncertainty assessment, and I put a small play placeholder here. So you see that simple, complex, complicated chaos constant velocity acceleration jerk. OK, so you can say that OK, I am a infrastructure company. Uh, changes are not that very fast. Uh, and uh, and I decide OK, but it is getting complex uh, uh, because uh, earlier I can build uh, as some small infrastructure now today it is scale it is value it is green there are so many things coming up in terms of construction and infrastructure okay so this is where i am okay or maybe you are in a brink of uh, bankruptcy your company uh, because there are so many things that have gone wrong you are in a midst of chaos and you need a jerk OK, without which the company will be closed. You place it here. OK, where do you want to place? OK, in terms of where you are. OK, I thought that, that should be the first step. It could be here, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here. OK, where are you? Which zone? And the second step in terms of domains. OK, I think this is very complex. We'll not place it here, we'll just place it here. OK, now what kind of transformation? domain that I need to embark. Productive, OK, or core or strategic. OK, now the second and third can be related. If it is productive, I want to exploit the core. OK, now what are my strengths? OK, how can I strengthen it more, etc. Core, uh, probably most of you are Provi alumni. You can basically understand our company. OK, so if you look at it, uh, we are 17 year old company and we constantly reinvent, but at the same time, we never drifted away from our uh, 
uh, vertical okay in terms of portfolio program and project management very little changes we have done changes but if you look at it we wanted to make sure that uh, provinces is known for integrity honesty commitment etc that's our base okay at any cost we need to maintain it okay so i'll say i'll keep doing this and uh, okay at the same time maybe i also would like to uh, okay improve the value delivery okay how do i improve the value delivery i'll do pdu workshops uh, these kind of webinars uh, how we do it i will strengthen it with uh, a good e learning mock exams how we do it and uh, i'll also go and do something extensive adding more more customers okay it is in fact it is one of our uh, kind of unwritten rule every quarter we need to bring out some new thing to the market okay we should be first in introducing some of these things okay so i extend i improve okay at the same time okay are we there here okay thinking out of box shaking the basics uh, i'm not sure as provinces okay the reimagining okay exploit the edge okay maybe my customers should answer this uh, but frankly uh, i have not done much on that okay because i felt sometimes we are too small but still we have done okay we have done certain uh, products uh, add ins uh, uh, which not none of the big customers or service providers uh, embarked we have done some of the reimagine okay so what is that i want to get into it so you will start getting new ideas okay in terms of improving in terms of extending in terms of reimagining go and uh, identify okay those things okay where do you want to be there okay so i just kept it for you to just see uh, how you want to select and then i went to to the resource capability uh, so i just put uh, those 10 items here uh, 12 items okay in terms of people okay how is my leadership okay is it conducive uh, people friendly uh, passionate in terms of transformation or he is uh, some old guys running and counting his days for retirement or save etc what is his what is he is he ready and uh, in terms of rating okay where is he okay in terms of 1 to 10 okay so you can look at it okay if others are ready he may be ready or he is passionate but uh, culture is uh, not conducive okay and some of the things i added because all the three may be there but if they don't have this project program management capability it is very difficult okay that's coming from my own experience i said where are we as an organization in this if you just keep running bau you may be a good expert you may have a great leadership you have a good culture but uh, you can't move the bottom line okay very very difficult it is like uh, making an elephant to dance okay so you are an elephant good but can you dance okay it is difficult so next to the same way in terms of structure how is your current processes maturity partnership are you open for it how is the ecosystem do you understand the ecosystem etc and then in terms of data there are so many organization running three decades four decades they don't have any data okay so then how can you improve okay so maybe you need to do it at least make a beginning get very poor in terms of data system yeah the same is the case okay platform we don't even understand other than railway platform okay so asset how are we so you can do that okay it is just in process i did this excel sheet just this morning okay why well, you can define what is the overall maturity where do we which are the you can build that heat map okay i didn't create the heat map but you can do that and then when it comes to transformation trajectory okay just bringing the actions okay actions could be in the form of initiatives remember anywhere you want to improve okay you need an initiative okay so when it comes to the initiative you need to start that program capability 
Okay, not just a project capability, program capability. Actually, in the uh, the Excel, the checklist. Okay, the checklist also can be brought into this Excel. If anyone further working on this maturity model, okay, I'll be very happy if you share your uh, add-in and further expansion on this uh, process model, and together we can all improve it. Okay, so there is an Excel sheet which I sorry the uh, check checklist. Okay, you see here slide number uh, 20, 21, 22, that five are five checklist. Okay, so that could be again brought in. Where are we? Just as an example, I'll bring the fifth checklist uh, in terms of enabling perpetual transformation. Okay, the first step is ensure alignment of strategic initiatives. Okay, today if you look at it, companies are doing left and right, they are starting the project. Very few projects are getting completed because most of them are not aligned to strategy. So they get the, uh, the backstage when it comes to BAU priorities, business as usual priorities. Recruiting army of volunteers, we discussed it. Okay, maintaining volunteering champions, okay, we discussed it also. How do you encourage them, empower them, uh, reward them? and maintain that army. Okay, implementing a reward program and balancing between run challenge. In fact, I would like to add one more. Okay, run change or run grow and transform. Okay, there should be three things. Okay, so you need to constantly work on run, grow and transform, which is equivalent to that uh, maintain core and uh, strategic. Okay, three levels, three domains of transformation. So we should see, okay, are we doing it? You need to look at it. Now, this is not one-time exercise. This needs to be uh, revisited periodically. Okay, so you can add this uh, to this Excel sheet and then you can put some action point, who is the right person to work on it, when do we start, and then outcome of it will become a form of roadmap. So you need to define your transformation journey as a master program under which there will be multiple sub-programs. Within each program, there will be initiatives. Some of them will be long-term, some of them will be short-term. Okay, your quick uh, wins. So a projectized, okay, programmatic approach is very, very essential. Okay, you need to look at project level, program level, portfolio level, uh, team level, cultural level. All those things are to be looked at. And uh, I think... Uh, these guys have done a good work, homework. Uh, it comes in three modules. I have explored only one. And uh, you can, you are free to go and do that. And if you need any assistance within your organization, uh, feel free to invite us. Uh, you can come and share uh, with your senior leadership and then uh, uh, help. Okay, so provinces, so one of the, uh, the portfolio is to assist companies in terms of these uh, transformation journeys. Okay, we have experience uh, and we are also currently doing some of the, uh, for some of our clients. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Any further questions from anyone? I have also uh, shared the feedback link in the chat. So please do submit your feedback. By Monday, we will be uh, sending uh, your PDU certificate to the email ID which you have mentioned in the feedback form. So please do that. I hope all of you are able to access that uh, yeah, the so, form, the link. Okay. Uh, uh, Ratna, can you just quickly take a survey? How many of them are interested in a post webinar quiz? That means okay. another 10 minutes will be required. Uh, yeah. All those who are, please show the reactions. And if any of you are interested, we'll run the okay, quiz or we can wrap you. up. How okay, many of them? Mr. Manu, just interested. One, two. We have received one response in the chat. Three. Yeah. Four. Five. How many are there, uh, Ratna, total? Uh, sir, as of now, 
14 are there, sir, participants. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So 14. I'm sure if I, we will have uh, participants. We can just run. We'll run? Okay, yes. I will not be explaining anything. Uh, those who would like to drop out, please feel free to drop out, okay? You don't need to feel bad about it. And uh, please uh, fill the uh, feedback form. Uh, that will help us. Okay, so we are we are still learners and we would like to uh, take your uh, inputs for our future uh, deliveries. Okay, I'm just starting the post workshop quiz straight away without uh, wasting much time. Uh, log on again. Uh, you have to come with a new, it's a new quiz. Uh, a new pin will be generated. Ahood.it, put your uh, pin number is 1074756. Okay, Vinayak, Ramesh, good. Anoj. Uh, Provi internal audience also can participate. Okay, whoever is there on the call, uh, please log in. Okay, Ebenezer, very good. Brindas, oh, super. Thank you, Brindas. Oh, KV Ramana. Good evening, Ramana. I didn't see you. Good evening, sir. Hello, <laughs> KV, sir. JP here. Yeah, hi, yeah, JP. Good evening. Okay. I don't see anyone from uh, my team. Ah, Ratna. Harish Rahul. Okay, three, five, eight. I'm going to start. Can I? Okay, let me start. Others, if you are in the process, you can join. Unsustainable changes can be classified as. Now the questions will not be that easy. The change comes in the one axis. Okay. <laughs> Two of you have answered. <laughs> OK, uh, the change comes in the X axis. OK, the constant uh, velocity, acceleration and jerk. OK, so unsustainable change Okay, is uh, jerk. OK, many of you have answered chaos. Uh, chaos comes in the Y axis. OK, that uh, definition is different. OK. Uh, that comes in the form of uh, complex, complicated and chaos. OK, better luck next time. Good, Vinayak and Kevi Ramana, they observed it well. Next question. <laughs> Make it today's business better, faster, cheaper may be called. This is easy. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> okay, core transformation is more of an improvement or extension. Strategic transformation is reimagine. All right, good. Okay, we are maintaining the lead. Very good. Atna joined third, Manoj Ramesh. Good, keep it up. 
providing value to different customers in different ways. This is very easy. Should have changed this question order. I think all of you have answered it very good. Can I expect seven out of seven? Okay, four out of seven still. Okay, core is middle. Okay, different ways that is in the x axis middle and uh, different customers in the y axis. Okay, different product mix, different mode of delivery that is core transformation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Radna. In the transformation trajectory order, engage and empower is touchstone one, touchstone two, three, or four. It is not sequence, we can say it is more, more of importance. Very good, very good, excellent. Four people have answered. Okay, first is uh, uh, vision. Second is uh, people. Okay, fourth is uh, operating system. And uh, third is, 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 okay, you know it better. Sir, leverage customer and competitor. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. I hope Ratna is not copying. <laughs> okay, next. Multi select. So, two answers in both should be correct, otherwise, you will less than your bar will reduce. In the organizational transformation journey, the trajectory begins with dash and end with dash. Check two answers. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I think I made a, a mistake in terms of setting up the time. It was only 20 seconds. Uh, but I think most of you answered well. Only thing, time was not sufficient. Okay, to complete. And uh, yeah, engage and uh, empower comes in between. Activate agile OS comes in between. Second and fourth. Third is leverage customer and ecosystem. Very good. Okay. Wow. Ramana has come back his first position. Okay, good. I think this is the last question. The type of transformation wherein we reinvent by developing new model is called I am sure all of you would have answered correctly. Super. <laughs> Six out of seven. Excellent. Okay. Reimagine is part of uh, new models. Okay. Overall. Third goes to Ramesh. Second goes to Atna. First goes to Ramana. Wonderful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fourth, Vinayak and fifth is uh, all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your active participation. I think it was, uh, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Okay. So please make sure that you put your uh, uh, feedback and then uh, have a good evening, good weekend, and good night.